Did you think they were gonna spend over half their budget on you? Um, well, I kind of hoped that they wouldn't, so we would have, uh, you know, money left over as a team. There's gonna be one I'm gonna fight for. So for me, PGF is just an opportunity to really dive in and experience a lot of different styles. So, oh, here's a nice entry by Elijah. Hey, we haven't even. Oh, trying to oh, it! Margie in some trouble. He's got it. He's got it. Let's uh, let's talk about the matches so far. Your last Kevin match. Kevin fucking sucks. He didn't want to grab me. The end. He's got it. Him. Uh, I think he just hates that he can't tap me. <laughs> I think he just hates that. Saddlers. Oh. This is big trouble for Buring. Oh, oh my goodness! No. One, two, tap. That's oh, tap. 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 Sheesh. Man, it's such an honor to uh, have Team Epic role in the PGF here. Uh, actually, being able to be a place that. Team Epic role with Roger Gracie as the coach could use the gym to uh, train his team. It's an amazing opportunity for us and the relationships and the, the opportunity to cross pollinate and learn other stuff from other people was incredible. Let's go, man. Win, win their mentality. Like, I'm going to win no matter what. It doesn't matter who's in front of me. It's just a body. Whoever's in front of you is just a body that can be beaten. That's it. Gentlemen, today is it's a new day. It doesn't really matter yesterday shit. I told you that story where I lost one day, and the next day I set an all-time record in the absolute. Literally, the first day I was tired, it was clunky, nothing was working. I'm like, what the hell, bad shape of my life. The next day, whatever, it was my day, okay? So it's a brand new day, okay? We had a little drill at the end about, you know, visualize someone you look up to, you know, how that could be more important than a picture or a word, which are also good to visualize. So today is a good day. Um, it's just something yesterday was, was not our, our peak performance. I think I have a good feeling about tonight. Uh, I think we need to, against the lower level guys, we have to score. Like, I had opportunities to score against Kevin Cheryl last night. I thought he was stalling a little bit, he was running away, but I, honestly, it was on me. I had opportunities to tap him, and I didn't, so. Uh, I accumulated no points on the first day. Uh, I don't feel terrible about it. I mean, like, the guys were tough, the strategy's tough. They're definitely showing up for me, like even the guys that maybe were, I'm expected to submit or something like that are showing up with their, you know, the best self because um, they're going against the number one guy for the rankings and this and that, you know. It's hard coming in here, like knowing that I'm one of the favorite guys. I feel like I always shine whenever I was an underdog. But nowadays it's a lot different, you know. I feel like I'm one of the oldest guys in the game right here. and. I got world titles and all these guys have seen me doing stuff around. So most of the guys were fighting, finding me like T-Rex, you know, and I was having a hard time with that, like trying to find arm bars and things like that that I like doing. Day one went pretty well. Uh, I was hoping I'd be able to get at least two subs yesterday. Ended up only getting the one. Looking at the matches, day one was definitely my uh, hardest day of the week. So uh, I think I'll uh, be able to score a lot more points today than I did last night. PGF veteran. I've been a part of three PGF seasons so far. A lot of guys yesterday, they looking at the, the scoreboard and a lot of guys didn't get subs and they already feeling stressed. I've been there before, but I also understand everybody going to have at least that one day where they just draw out. But you also going to have a day where you just get all subs. So a lot of guys, they discourage off of day one, but they don't know you can have that day where you just run through everybody. That's what makes it so great because you got all week to, to uh, redeem yourself. Show that you want to win. Like people that's like, confidence intimidate people. Intimidate people get worse, you know, the, the level drops. All because you're showing confidence, like, you know, you, you know, in your every move. It's not like aggression, you know, not verbally, it's like, it's noise. You don't have to say anything to show confidence. Like, you know, you know me, I never spoke anything. Like, I walk in silence, you know, but, but my body speaks confidence. The way I move, you know, the way I, I look at my body. It's pretty cool having you, man. It's the reason I got into remaking chokes, you know. So it's like, <laughs> seeing him choke everybody out of the ADCC back in the day. I was like, yeah, you gotta just, you gotta just take the back, you know? 
just stretch, just get the body activated. I think if you activate your body now, you 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 walk more faster. Yeah, you 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 feel better later. Think of an awesome movie, but think of the hero or your role model, whoever it is. All right, think of that today. Visualize a little bit. Watch a cool movie. Relax, and I'll see you guys at three, okay? It's entertaining for sure. It's fun. Uh, I like seeing people get mad at each other. I hope more people get mad at each other. Hopefully some fights broke out, uh, break up. Uh, would love to see that. That'd be dope. Maybe someone throw a chair or something. Uh, day two, it's not easy coming in. The the one that everybody is like hunting, you know, like it's it's better to be to feel like the hunter, you know what I mean? And now that the the playing field has just been even, it's cool, like sick, got no fucking points the first day. Like uh, now I get to go be the hunter. So pretty disappointing for me, honestly. I didn't really execute the way I wanted to. I didn't feel like I was 100 percent myself. You know, I got a good night's rest last night, putting that behind me. I feel like I'm a new man today. Got a solid training session in this morning with uh, team first form at hybrid. Got a cold tub, which made me feel a lot better too. So, yeah, game plan tonight. I got three more tough matches. There's really no easy days out here. You guys, great training. Thank you. Yeah. In reality, it's like the guys that are like not doing it. I should, I'm just trying to get them to go. No, do I something. get it. You're trying to fucking put some pressure on them Come to on, move. Let's yeah. go, engage. No, you want to fluster people because then they make mistakes. Yeah. AJ's an asshole. <laughs> Yeah, so you got one guy that likes it, one guy that doesn't like it. I'm not saying I, I don't like it, I'm just calling you an asset. <laughs> <laughs> it brings the people in though. Either to watch you lose or watch you win. Every team's got a hammer, and then every team's got a guy that no one knew who the fuck it was. Like, I mean, you kind of know who they are, but it's crazy. Every corner of the country, Nebraska and someone's garage, there's somebody that is a badass that nobody's heard of. You know? It's all about like style matchups in this tournament, and I think like understanding the style matchup, keeping yourself healthy. So a lot of people were fucked up yesterday. I was like, whoa, this is crazy. So like today, everyone's gonna have to be a little bit more understanding of how to keep themselves more safe in matches. So I'm interested to see whether it's more exciting or a little bit more defensive, trying to figure out how to not get fucked up more. And then also too, breaks don't do shit. Like, you could have three breaks yesterday and you got nine points. You're not even close to being in the first place. Like, and this is how it should be. Strangles are way more valuable. Well, I can see when a fighter has this little doubt in their, in their eye. I can see when someone's too excited. I can see when someone's angry. I can see when someone gets frustrated. I know that look and I've been there. So, it, so it's, I mean, yeah, I'm getting older, so it's time to get back to the next generation of guys, you know. Stalling is going to be super aggressive tonight. Super aggressive. We are overcorrecting in the wrong direction. I'm going too far the other way, and I'll pull it back tomorrow if that's what it comes to. Every athlete that I spoke to wants more aggressive. I'm giving you what you want, more aggressive stalling. Everybody on page with that? If you got five that accrued during the match, during the course of a six minute match, you're obviously not here to fight. We're stopping the match right away. Instant DQ, get off the mat, the other guy gets two. Everybody understand that? Questions? Now's the time. I think in a way myself, um, I saw last season and uh, was already fantastic, but this year I think is the magnitude of the event surprised everyone that came to Vegas. And uh, I think now it's getting close to what all the competitors deserve, this organization deserve, the PGF. And I'm looking forward to, to see events like that happening and have all this support. I'm second place, man. Jack is sleep all the way. Yeah, the first day uh, I score, we scored 30 points. Then yep. Jack 20, 21. 21. Every day, I think we have um, every day in the morning hours to get together and I have a little chat. But they already came ready to go. I think my, I feel that my job is more to keep their mindset in the highest level possible for, for them to achieve their goal. And my goal is to win as a team and to make sure all my guys are in the playoffs. We need the points to, to stay close to Jean-Jacques, but now Jean-Jacques is ahead. And today is going to be a good day for, for everybody to try to catch up. Today is the day I think is the most important. I think by the last day we would see the guys that want more, 
they will come out on top. Six minutes to try to submit, you don't submit, we don't get points and the team is going to lose. But that's what it's about. And yesterday the tension was very, very high amongst the competitors, but how is the energy today? The best energy as possible, we just got here, warm, warmed up with my, my the, the teammates and everybody looks sharp, everybody feels good and I believe the team is going to, not only me, but the team today is going to bring very good results. PGF World Season 6 is underway in Tuesday, brings us Match Day Tuesday. It is everything you love about sports, plus jiu-jitsu, a team-based concept unlike any other in combat sports. It's time, time for our first match, match of the evening. Coming, coming from, from Epic Roll, Kevin Sherrill. <laughs> and his opponent, representing first form, Daniel Sadler. Oh, look at that, they're getting after it early. Daniel, Kevin gotta be careful he doesn't get trapped up in this toe hole battle. Does end up, oh, Daniel still on the move with a nice play oh, wow. here by Kevin Sherrill. The leg lock shootout here early, just past one minute into the match, and you want to talk about tempo and aggression, it has been on display in this one, definitely setting a pace for don't, don't night two. Don't give it space to him. Glue a little bit more. Yes. I don't know. Who? <laughs> Bottom got you. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Let's go, Daniel. Don't listen to him. Yeah, he's busy. He's busy. Oh, Cheryl moving to the outside heel hook. He's got a nice attack going. Sadler on the run. And here's the toe hold. Oh! Sadler counters the 50 50 attack with a toe hold. Excellent play. Daniel Sadler scores again. Phenomenal stuff for Daniel Sattler. And to make it official, we go to Stephen Aiken. And your winner, representing first form, Daniel Sattler! More points bank for Daniel Sattler. Brandon's been talking about these stall calls. I knew I was going to get made an example of. I was like, I know it. I know for sure. Too many people complaining about, uh, complaining about me, and I'm first one of the day. For sure, I'm getting hit with a crazy stall call. Lo and behold, He's trying to pass my guard. He's got my legs wrapped. I'm framing and pushing away, trying to find some space. Hodger's coaching me through it. Yeah. And then a stall call comes up. Yes. Who? I don't know. Who? <laughs> Bottom got you. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, we're just doing crazy, crazy shit then. We're going wild. Put myself in 50-50. As soon as I got there, I was like, this was dumb. I've had a couple of deep leg locks on this guy. He's not tapping. This was dumb. Our next athlete coming to the mat, representing Epic Roll, AJ Agazar. Representing first form, Hanato Canudo. Canudo, hey, he told me he was he told me he was gonna come out and pull guard tonight. And I was like, there's no way. And he does. Oh, he's on AJ's head early. Get into the guillotine choke. Canudo aggressive here early, just 30 seconds. Going into the high elbow. Nothing there, nothing there. Oh, he's got a nice, just not quite able to secure this. Oh, hard Ooh. collar tie mm. for the left hand by AJ. Anything about that and look at this, goodness. Canuto with another good takedown. Spin oh, around. Oh, oh, he's got the arm. Agazar trying to hang tough in a very tough spot. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Dude, he's incredible. Wow. Defensively, just incredible. Oh, look at this. I told you. He's going to make a move on the toe hole. That's a good bend. AJ survives it. Because it's been so much action and offense. Oh, hey, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Stay on it. Stay on it. 30, 35, Hinato. Toe hold counter now by AJ. Nice bend on the foot. Wow. What a match. I mean, absolute fireworks. No submission there, but I think we just saw the match of the season thus far. That was incredible. Wow. Both guys. How was it against Hanato? Uh, it takes two to tango, and Hanato and I. This is our this is our third go at. This is our first time in the PGF format, which you got to you know that was that was exciting. I like the I like the on the couch right next to the action. You know we we, we actually faced each other in the champ, world championship finals at Black Belt uh, 
uh, he edged me out on an advantage, and then we had a draw in the Kasai. But this was I was I was hungry for. It. But you know, Hanato loves to. He's like me. We just love to bring the action, no matter what. Kill or be killed. That's that's the motto. And uh, respects to him because you know, like I said, it takes a lot of these guys out here are just kind of comfortable sitting and, and getting a draw. Not me. Not not Hanato. We want the kill, and uh, that's the, that's the product. So that's what it shows. What do you think of it? Epic roll. The ninja, Andy Varela. First form, Kevin Bury. Go. Well, Varela asserting dominance. Varela is new to the rule set, but he has to know a draw is a loss. Okay, there's a flag. There's the first flag of the nine. Let's see what the referees are going to do with this. Go. First hook is in. 45 seconds. We got to get some kind of squeeze going here. Andy smashing those knees together, frame against the head, and a nice recovery by Buring. A little check on the shoulder, and that's the end of that one. Time expires, no points awarded. It's because he was controlling like the inside of the I couldn't find how to. Okay. I thought I could break him more. I'm sorry, guys. Before the match, you told him this is what you wanted, boy. So, what are your thoughts on that match? Yeah, um, just be careful what you ask for. Uh, um, I was supporting him. He's from another Tan Planet, and I was happy that he was on the come up. He's a little purple belt, you know. So I was like, hell yeah, that's that's cool to see. And then I see that he calls me out. So I'm like, we get on the mats. So I'm like, this is what you asked for. This is a different kind of animal, and uh, yeah, kind of figured that out. On three, okay. Good. Three, one, two, and three. It's beautiful, bro. Oh, I appreciate Love it. it. <laughs> that means a lot coming from you. Uh, you think I should wear hair glue during the competition? Like, going forward? Yeah, you, know, you, should, you should. Yeah, it's going to happen again. Yeah, I felt guaranteed. a lot of release. He, he got a good release. pocket right there. It's going to happen, I guarantee you. Wear hair glue, yeah. Uh, you have to. Yeah. Okay. Right. It was hard to kind of focus when I was like I feeling the blow up in the match. I know. I was like, dude, I feel like... You did a great job out there. Andy's tough. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. I got real tough. fucked yeah, up. Tough. Yeah, he's really tough. Well, right, I'm going to pull it out now, buddy, okay? As good as you're gonna get, boss. Awesome, yeah. thank you so much, man. Representing the epic role, John Cole! Representing first form, Cam Hurd! Oh, look at Cam Hurd getting active! You see, see the difference there? He's not just framing out and trying to move, and that's what creates the opportunity. Combs falls back. Hurd saves oh, himself, wow. and look at this action! Yeah. Yeah. Nicely done by Cam Hurd, able to get back yeah. to his feet. There comes the flag. They're gonna hit. They're gonna hit Hurd for circling the guard right there at the end. Trying to take that back here. Both hooks in for Combs. Forearm almost up the neck. Hurd able to stop it for the end. Oh, it looks like Combs might be hurt. Let's see what happened. Hey, he out again. That should be a verbal tag. Just stop twice. It's like, yeah. Start to go, baby. Sorry, John. Not happy about it. Oh, they're going to continue. They're going to, hey, and listen, that's a good thing because that would have been two on the board for Hurt if Combs can just stay out there and try to survive. I mean, we'll see how he feels after his adrenaline wears off, you know. But. And that's a wrap. Combs showing all of that heart. He can barely stand up and walk. Yeah, I just need to check on him. Yeah, my, my hip's been hurting the whole tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Hurt or everything. That was a draw. That was a draw, yeah. Right? Yeah, there was no tap there. Uh, I want to kind of like five minutes to think about it. I don't want to abandon the team. Well, you guys will make, make the call you got to make, okay? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Right, I just wanted to, I wanted to come get eyeball to eyeball. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. All right, I love you. I'll I love you too, man. On What's up, Hodge? How's it? It's not great. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, it's not good. No, I'm good. What did you just heard about? Hey, Hodge, can I borrow you for a second? I'm, I know this is your team, but I want to get your honest like uh, assessment. There was a, he yelled out, and we stopped. But there was nothing on it. 
If there's a submission on, like you can just say, aye. Right, right. If there's a submission on it, then I'll say, I mean, yeah, you can, you can, you can chop. But there's nothing. There's do, you, no... do you feel like you're able to remove yourself from the situation and address it honestly, though? No, no, I'm, 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 I am. If it happens in one if, of your matches, if you had feel? any submission, anything holding, I'll say yes. Okay. But because he had nothing, so verbal tap for what? Yeah, no tap. You didn't tap, no. Yeah. Okay. No okay. tap, no. This is not even one of your teammates. No, 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 no. I gave it to myself for his, his hip or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I got that. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to send it to a draw. Yeah. Everybody feels good about yeah. this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to check with you guys. No. I want to, I'm, I'm going to try to do this right. Yeah. Yeah. I want to try to do this right, you know. Cool. Okay. Pretty, pretty disappointing. I uh, pushed a little too hard at a session a couple weeks ago and, uh, you know, damaged myself from that. And, uh, but, you know, I showed up, I, I gave everything I had out there, and uh, very, very, very disappointed to pull out, especially, you know, this was probably the night that I was best uh, set up to get points on the board. Our next athlete coming to the mat, representing epic role, Matt Elkins! And his opponent, representing first form, Jet Thompson! Wow, the 17-year-old Oklahoman. Decides to wrestle with the collegiate wrestler. But then he sits. Oh! Jet oh! 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 Thompson is the real deal! And your winner, representing first form, Jet Thompson! Thank you. I told you this kid is amazing. For some reason, I have a good vibe with him the first time. I see him walk around very shy, and 17 years old. I said, man, something about this kid. Yeah, amazing. Honestly, I really expected it. Like we're, I've been seeing him do this all along. Like everybody's kind of catching up now and and seeing it. So I'm glad that everybody else is getting to see what I've been seeing in him for a while. So, yeah, I, I could be more proud of the kid. I, it's really awesome. Uh, I just had my first match. Ended up being able to catch an armbar, and I don't know how long it was. I know it was under a minute though. But uh, yeah, I feel really good about that. Uh, Definitely my hardest match of the day is, will be the next one with Davis Asari. Um, I came in here and uh, they're all making fun of me on the podcast because my dad's having to sign the waiver. But uh, yeah, I'm getting a, note, a school note for, to get off for the week. A purple belt today is not that much difference from a black belt. He might be even better doing a specific technique than a lot of black belts. And that's why we've been seeing tournaments. You have a young kid, 17. One of the toughest guy in the whole tournament. First to the mat, representing X Marshall, the Jabroni Elijah Carlton. Representing Black Rifle Coffee, Samson Fogelbaum. Nobody's ever accused Samson of stalling. Oh, there's this big setup from Elijah. And Samson? Making a move around towards the back. More grip here for Carlton. Yeah, from from a funky position though, he makes something happen. Oh, look at this! Oh, oh, look look at look Carlton! Elijah Carlton's on the board! Elijah Carlton! Ooh, I think he hit his head on the concrete over there. Yeah, smacked my head on concrete. <laughs> I didn't want the fucking armbar, dude. Fuck. Elijah Carlton! I mean, I hit my head on something, maybe his elbow or something, and I like saw stars and I was like, where's he fucking at? <laughs> hey, good match, man. Thanks, Thanks so I don't even remember what happened, honestly. <laughs> but... I tried. Nice work, brother. Thank you, man. It's kind of fucking like, made me see stars for a second, and then I was like, where's he at? Like, he dove, something hit my head, and I kind of. Went fuzzy and then he was behind me. And then I had an armbar. I don't know. I have no clue. I, I smacked my head on the concrete too, right there when I was finishing it. But um, yeah, points on the board. Let's go. Our next athlete, athlete coming to the mat, representing X Marshall, Davis Asari. Representing Black Rock Coffee, Mike John. And Asari's very confident coming in today. He says he's going to do. Really well. He should be confident. 
come in. Anytime you find yourself listed as number one on anything, it should make you feel pretty good. Oh, look at this, stepping over for an arm lock. Uh, sorry, coming out, being very, very aggressive. Mike's going to have to get busy or he's going to end up getting called for stalling right here. Oh, there he starts to make a move, and now that little, that threat of action. Oh, my. And this is very similar to the sequence we saw from him earlier. Is it going to be an arm lock here? We're running out of real estate to work, but it be real oh, hard man, to reset them is... here. Oh! Oh! oh what are we going to do right there? Side tap? What? Oh, oh, that's a wrap. Oh, All right, submission okay. break goes away of sorry. And your winner with a break, Davis Asari. Oh, it, it, it didn't make a difference. <laughs> it did not make a difference. I, he still would. Whether the couch is there or not, he'd have fucked me up. And I feel like, especially like P. Jeff has kind of been one of the like change or the shifts in my career where I was starting to like actually blossom a little bit in my career and like get comfortable. And uh, I think maybe you guys kind of witnessed like a kind of a new version of me. I would believe, yeah, for sure. Ex Marshall. So far, we're killing it today. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. 29 points. Woo! Winning by nine. Let's go. Keep going until they tell you to stop, I guess, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. The next athlete coming to the mat representing Ex Marshall, Nathan Haddit. Nathan Haddit making the walk for Ex Marshall. Representing Black Rifle Coffee, Jamie Carnal. Connect with him, Nathan. Connect. Do your jiu-jitsu. Yes. Do your jiu-jitsu, Nathan. Connect with him. Stay close. Stay close. Okay? Stay close. Carnal making some work here. Oh, look at this movement to the back by Nathan. Wow, what a counter. Oh, man, he's getting deep right here. He's going to take a run at it. He's got chance. He got it. Inside the minute, the extra points. Nicely done. Huge submission victory. Stephen Ankin will make it official. And your winner with a kill, Nathan Haddad. Big points there for Nathan Haddad. The kid's a contender. The kid's a contender, man. How many overall points does X Marshall have? They have 36 now. Again, oh. going out to a, a commanding lead, 16 points uh, ahead of first form that has 20. 16 points ahead. Representing X Marshall, Ben Eddy. Representing Black Rifle Coffee, the Butter Panther, PJ Barge. Best nickname in jiu-jitsu. They're not just 10th Planet teammates, but they've spent tons and tons and tons of hours on the actual training mats together. Oh, they're gonna call, they're gonna call Eddie for stalling with 12 seconds left, and this is a big moment right here. Reset, short time. Oh, look at this. PJ chooses to jump over on the front headlock. Attack instead. Got him bellied out. He's gonna make a rip at it, and that's the end. Wow. That's time. PJ made a strong move. Again, man, what a great match by Barch, but scoreless. He coming to the mat representing first form, Cam Hurd. Representing ex Marshall, Quadzilla, David Evers. And David Evers showing off the quads on the squad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you got them, flaunt them, no? Do the people want that? Some of the people definitely do. <laughs> there you go, there you go. And he made the playoffs and pretty much won the, the title. He's got oh, the scoop grip off to the other side. Oh, yeah. man, this is big yeah. trouble. Cam finds his way through that initial entanglement, trying to He's got his knee line free. Great job, Cam Hurd. Doing good, Cam. Doing good. Oh, but now Evers moving into the 50-50. Total counter is proper. Okay, Hurd pops up. I was I was yeah. worried there for just a second. And your winner with a break, Quadzilla David Evers.
Some more points racked up for David Evers. I am standing by with Hegan Machado, the head coach for Team First Form, and you've had some standout competitors, one of them whom you were so, so excited to get, Jet Thompson. Yes. He's had some impressive uh, submissions. So what are your thoughts on his performance so far? I think Jeff is the surprise for me because he's 17 years old and he have three submissions. And for me, he he's gonna surprise. I believe he's gonna still have two more fights tonight. I think he's gonna have a chance to submit two more fights. Jet Thompson! And his opponent, representing ex Marshall Davis Asari! Davis Asari. In the matchup that Thompson had against Matt Elkins, if you leave that arm behind, okay, look at this. Uses it to get into his closed guard, now creating an off balance. Pretty good angle early on here in this attack for Jet Thompson. Asari dropping his hip in response. Nice reaction, pulls that, oh, this is his play. And we go the distance, ends in a draw. Yeah, he's, he's the, one of the toughest guys here. And it was very, very good match, you know. Here comes Daniel Sattler. Hey, Ed, remind me how much he went for uh, in the draft? 1100. 1100. Only 1100. And his opponent, representing ex Marshall, Nathan Haddad. Daniel Sattler comes to us, hand selected by Andre Galvao to be here. But look at this. Oh, and Haddad's got, he's got this retention team move. locked up. Oh, my goodness. Sattler finds himself in trouble early, making good responses here. Yeah, bring the arm on the inside. Letting him work here off the mat. That Now trying to take the back. He does. No, he doesn't. Almost He's going to slide high, off. Sadler, excellent defensive awareness. Going to get an exposure on the arm here. Attacking that arm again, trying to... Oh, great oh, defensive position. play. Now playing the deep half guard. Slowly, slowly, get the control. Yes, stay under, stay under. Oh! Lifts him, flips him, jumps on his head. Oh, he's going for this rear side triangle. Stay under, get the pressure. It's not quite there. Locks the body. Let's see if he can. Are there secondary submissions from this? If he can't, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of great plays that he can make from here. But the leg just not quite in position. For time. And he's going to survive. Wow. What a match. These guys put on a heck of a show here in Las Vegas. No winner, no points. But everyone happy with what they saw in that one. That is something. Combs is out, huh? Dude, Our team has been just <laughs> hell and it. You couldn't ride this. This is really good. I feel we're halfway through the event almost now because we're in second day, two uh, blocks in. And we're so far ahead. It will take so much for anybody to catch up. And I mean, Jiu Jitsu flipped on its head right now, you know? There is. There isn't anything like this, you know? And all the celebrities here, everybody here is somebody. Beautiful setup. This is it, this is the one. Matt Elkins! Matt Hansen! Hansen gets a nice grip on this leg. Dragging Elkins into a position here. Ooh, gets an exposure on the heel and he's got the break. Nicely done. Points on the board now. And your winner with a break, Max Hansen. Yeah, it's great. I like it. it's like nice small, the couches, the great matches. It's been uh, been cool so far. I didn't make it yesterday my first day, but plan on coming all week. Uh, yeah, PJ's a stud. We're cut from the same cloth, both wrestlers, both very good everywhere. Um, it's just going to be a tough six minute match and we're going to flip the coin and just kind of see what happens. The Ninja, Andy Varela. Representing Black Rifle Coffee, the Butter Panther, PJ Barr. On pretty much any rankings list that came out, Barch and Varela were one and two. E even if on the list where Varela was number one, Barch was number two. 
on the list where Barch was number one, Varela was number two. Everybody had these as their guys, except for Tim Freeman. Inside BJJ, I think they had Elijah Carlton at number one. AJ slides and past. They're both gonna walk out of here with a zero at this point. And they're not doing themselves any favors by not taking risk. And that's what you start to see in this PGF format. Great athletes, great jujitsu players. If you don't take some risk. Whoa! What? Whoa! 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 BJ Montano sacrificing his life to get onto the couch over there. And both guys, look at that smile on BJ's face. Let's go. You know, Barella, Barella, I think, was trying to get the hooks in. Yeah, he tried. Yeah. <laughs> The respect and the slap of the hands right there. He jumped over the couch and then pushed through the couch the second one. I saw, like, he wasn't even stopping. <laughs> we go the distance, no points, but a whole ton of action. Look at this replay. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the dog almost died again. <laughs> oh, very good. I wasn't going to shoot, man. I don't know. It's not, it's not worth the risk. Can't score two points. Both are the same game, you know? It's all right. Let's let you speak now. Tell the people what you want them to I know. I just want to appreciate everybody for coming out, bro. This is a super sick um, turnout. I think all of you guys are enjoying yourself, so. Keep coming through, bro. This, this is going to make big waves in the game, so let's make it happen, all right? I appreciate you guys for coming. Thank you, Andy. We couldn't do it without you, brother. Andy Barella showing some love. Fuck. That's my shout-out. They don't ask me for an interview. They don't give me a shout-out. Yeah, that was a sick match with PJ. All respect to PJ. Again, we're the top dogs in 10 Planet. And we're always gonna fight for that low key, you know. It's doesn't necessarily have to be said, but everyone knows what it is, and I appreciate him for giving me this, that competitive edge. Andy hit a good elbow pass on me, and I didn't expect him to follow it up. And I kind of just like casually, like kind of walked out of bounds a little bit. And like right as I'm walking out of bounds, he's on my back, and I was like, oh, this motherfucker. It's super hard for one of us to take each other down. We know each other's games, and we're both good, at, very good at the same thing. I think ADCC brain kicked in or something, and I just had to fucking get somewhere better than where I was. Like, because Andy was gonna keep jumping my back probably until like he was physically removed, and I wasn't like, <laughs> we were both not gonna stop until like somebody pulled us apart because I wasn't gonna restart with like some hooks in or some other weird position or something like that. I was excited, honestly. I like when crazy moments happen like that in my matches, so I try to like just follow whatever's happening. So. He was running off the mat, I'm like, I'm gonna go too, and I feel the ref holding me from behind. And I'm like, fuck it, we're jumping these couches and we're going, you know? I, I like crazy shit like that, that's, that's where I thrive, you know? Representing Epic Roll, the Terminator, Sam Schwarzeffel! Representing Black Rifle Coffee, Samson Fumabow! All right, here we go, we are underway. Oh my! Sam getting aggressive early. Hey, he came in oh. and coming in off the bench with that new guy energy, dude. Absolutely. Samson moving backwards. Well, Sam isn't going to give up the, the standing game. Oh, He's look at that American. knee tap. Oh! oh! Hey, you can already see why Sam got invited back, huh? There's the flag. It is for Samson from about, so we can restart here. Too much backward movement. Right hook in for Schwartz. He's got a crazy flip that he does where he ends up on the back. Watch him. See it? Look at this. Just about had it. And we go the distance. Fun, aggressive match there, but again, no points awarded. 
And say some fun about head straight for the once upon a coconut. <laughs> Stephen Aiken will make it official. After six minutes, this match finishes with a draw. <laughs> <laughs> well, well deserved. I replaced John Combs. He's out for today. He might rest up and come back tomorrow. Whatever he do, does, I respect his decision. I'm happy to get in there. Don't want to see anybody get hurt, obviously. But yeah, you know, that's the only way I get in. I'm thankful to get in there. I just got probably three, four highlights in one match. So I don't think anybody's been, I mean, maybe there's been people that have been as exciting, but I don't think many people were as exciting as that. Yeah, I got my next match with Ben Eddy. Win, lose, or draw. Beers in the hot tub with these two. Uh, I feel that we were the underdog, but uh, I think I, I made the right pick with some of the guys. I also was lucky with some of the guys. And uh, here we are, day two. We're still ahead, and hopefully day three, day four. I would like to have all my guys from my team qualify for the playoffs, and uh, we're looking for. You have a little bit of a, of a connection with him. Eddie Bravo's in the building. None of, the, none of this would be happening without him. None of this would be happening without him. He saved you because you didn't want to do the coaching. That, that, because of his overhook, we have this. Think about it. I love it. Eddie made a great point. Yeah. He's like, think about it. We're all be here because of his overhook. He changed the face of jujitsu by developing that overhook to such a strong level. It made no, he changed the way that Nogi was done. He's killing it out here. It's like not even close right now. I said, look guys, you come here for what? For a draw? You want to get 20 grand? You want to be famous? That's your chance right now. Let's do it. Jean-Jacques leadership to Eddie and then Eddie's leadership to the rest of the 10th Planet Association, even the entire Nogi Jiu Jitsu community is really the thing that laid the foundation for all of this. And then the Gracies laying the foundation for Jean-Jacques. It's just, right. it's beautiful, man. It, it, I know Jean-Jacques, Hajer, Carlos is over here. He can, all of these guys just watching the legacy and all the sweat and the hard work and the the effort that they poured into something that was so meaningful to them to see what it's doing for all of these athletes in the next generation. It's its really beautiful, man. I'm, I can't believe I'm even a part of it. He's my money guy. He says he's going to write a nice fat check for the team come back next year. He's spending all my money. I'm flat broke now. He's, <laughs> man, throw it all away. This is our oil money. <laughs> it's an endless resource. <laughs> you know? Look how he dressed. Gold <laughs> everywhere. I'm running away. Yeah, you're all over gold to news. Like, come here, let's get some bracelets like that. <laughs> Matching bracelets for the coaches. <laughs> the whole team. Coming to the mat next, representing Epic Roll, Matt Elkins. Elijah Carlton. Let's do it, Elijah. Last match of the day, man. Let's do this. So you have the two most experienced PGF veterans in PGF history. Uh, and historically, it doesn't work out so well for Matt Elkins. Yeah, they've faced off several times over the course of the PGF history, and Elijah's gotten it every single time. Oh, he got it. Oh, it's right there on the minute as well. Ooh. Oh, we hey. Yeah, we need to go to the replay. Oh, I mean, it's right there on the minute. I think he actually got it. I think the he minute. did too. I think I didn't stop the clock fast enough. Man, I feel great. Um, this tournament wouldn't be the fucking same without Matt Elkins here. Um, somebody dropped and they put Kevin Sherrill in first. Fucking bullshit. They should have put Matt in right off the bat. But wouldn't be the same without him. Um, he was there season one. This is what, your third season? Right. Wouldn't be the same without him. He's one of my best friends. Give it up for Matt. Thank you, Elijah, man. We look forward to more. Definitely my roughest night. In PG it might be the roughest night in PGF history. I think that I got subbed three times. I believe that all three of them were in under a minute. I, maybe one of them was over a minute. Very unhappy about that. <laughs> I told you so. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They, they try to kill me today, boss. <laughs> All right, Finn, bro. I'm all right, bro. And like I said, everybody saw that. 
my family is paying attention. Um, all of my students are watching. Um, my students from other gyms that we compete with locally and stuff like that are all watching friends from across the, the country and stuff like that. And so I, I just knew that I had to um, make a decision. Our next athlete coming to the mat, representing epic role, AJ Agazon. Crazy Baja black belt, ADCC silver medalist, and world champion AJ Agazon has yet to get a submission. Representing ex marshal Davis Asari. Davis Asari making the walk, leading the league in points, as does his team, ex marshal. Asari working into a two on one. Oh. oh! Let's see where they restart this. That's the most well-behaved dog I've ever seen, by the way, on the edge of the mat. Very calm. Action almost got on top of him. He's cool. Dave's Asari here in a good position. Brandon, don't you call it like the Zangief throw? Oh, look at this. Asari work, working in on a Darce choke. We've already seen him hit this once this season on Cam Hurd. Ooh, this is getting serious. Davis stepping into a good position. Man, again, AJ just finds a way to survive. AJ takes a shot at the single. Ooh. Davis with the reshot. Bit of a clash of heads there. You can see AJ definitely got the worst of it. Davis has this two on one. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Hard collar tie. Davis, so sorry, does not even flinch in response to it. Time expires. It's not bad for 66. <laughs> so the most challenging part is obviously just having 12 matches, like 12 matches, bro. And a lot of them are against ADCC veterans and top ranked guys. Like it's not easy, six minutes. So when it's six minutes, the intensity kind of increases because you don't have a lot of time to work with. Um, so that definitely like puts a toll on your body. So that's something I didn't, I kind of was like, okay, this is going to be hard. The Ninja, Andy Varela. Nathan Haddon. Nathan Haddon, currently in sixth place with 11 points. They tie up in the center. There's the snap from Varela. Ooh, getting in on the attack of the head real quick, already past the guard. See what Varela can do here. And this is gonna put the pressure on Nathan as the guy in the bad position to take a risk and get an escape. And there it is. Stalling penalty called on Nathan Haddad. Back underway. Oh, a dunk for Nathan Haddon. Quick escape for Nathan. Look Rella at this passing. passing by Andy. Gets his arm into a bit of a compromised position. Step over, Here's step over. Yeah, I'm Kimura. lost. Andy tried to spin it into an arm lock of his own. Comes up, passing the guard again on the other side. Andy's passing has looked outstanding so far. Let him turn in, go for the guillotine. Let him turn in, get the guillotine. And that's going to leave Davis Asari at the top of the leaderboard following this match. Keep smashing all these fools, but I can't fucking. It's fucking manhandling it, but I can't get them to do what I want. I need to fucking figure that shit out, man. Shit pisses me off. I just feel like way stronger than this was here. I should be able to force some shit out. You know? Representing Epic Roll, the Terminator, Sam Schwarzepfel! And his opponent representing ex Marshal Ben Eddy. I forgot about it. You want to do it or you want me to do it? No, you do it. You know what's the most shocking thing maybe for me out of this entire season so far? Ben Eddy has not been able to find his guard. I mean, maybe two times he's gotten into his guard. That's the finished product when it comes to we are the, underway. the guard. And Sam is rebuilt. Sam got a lot of fucking Look at that, Sam. Quick north-south here, gain for Sam Schwartz. Ben guaranteed us 
Oh, look at this movement. That's that same move, man. Sam is so good at that. It's good. He's waited another couple years of that. He just started mastering that over the last six months. God damn. Gosh. Sam, play him around. Okay. Too many backward steps. Stalling penalty for Ben Eddy. Sam going to get a look at the back here, the referee position restart. If I was a fan of stalling calls like that, I wouldn't put them in my show. So it's not my show. Sit. Sit. It's fine. Okay. Ben now Eddie getting, ben that getting game offensive, going. and here it goes. Oh, oh, did he get it? Oh. Switches it off to the triangle. What a play oh, by Ben wow. Eddie off his guard. So you push that fist in there, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ben Eddie the gets the kill. Using the Hindula team to get it done. Huge points gained for Ben Eddie. Huge points for X Marshall to make it official. We go to Stephen Aiken. <laughs> I was just fucking, it's hard work out here, but um, it's great. It's amazing to be a part of. It's totally different. Um, it's it's sick in here. I lo I'm loving it. Dude, who not to see when you put the guy in? You got it, brother. Six points on the board right there. How many does Ben Eddie have now? He has 12. He is tied for fourth. Also, ex Marshall, more of a lead, 49 points now. Good grief, they're the, running away with it. The next team has 20. Coming to the mat, representing Black Rifle Coffee, Max Hansen. And his opponent, representing first form, Daniel Sadler. Oh, he's got his hands full right here. What a rematch this is about to be. Sadler shoves him down to his back. Inside position with the foot for Hansen. Scoop grip on the far side. Sadler controlling the head. Nice navigation again. Oh, this is a little little bit of something cooking here for Hanson. Sadler very expertly freezes knee line. And Sadler, <laughs> Max pushed off on him hard. Now Sadler getting super active here at the end. Time was, expires. You know, that's one of the big differences. Ooh. Time expires, but the action didn't necessarily conclude. After six minutes, this match finishes with a draw. All right. Draw there. Don't push me. Fuck you, Daniel. You're a bitch. You did nothing the whole match. Wait till you got a stall and call. AJ, you shut the fuck up. Fucking <laughs> shit or fighting is different. <laughs> fuck, fuck Daniel Sather. Pops me in the chest, asks him to fight. He fucking walks away like a bitch. Does nothing the entire match. And then has something to say at the end of it. Tries to fight me at the end of it. He could have done something there. Uh, I think we saw some tempers flare there a little bit. Sadler you know, kept going maybe a little few moments after the bell. Like, we're, we're gonna start to see more intensity on these athletes. Yeah, yeah, he was just talking a bunch of shit, you know, to me during the match. And yeah, I just uh, wanted to ask him what was what was his goal, because he said that I didn't really want to fight. So yeah, he was trying to play the funny guy, so I went to him and see what, what he has to show. So Daniel, Daniel Slather's very emotional. He's pretty low IQ. Uh, he got frustrated when I started using more than uh, one technique. He was flustered that uh, somebody wasn't just reaching so he could jump for an arm bar. Yeah, maybe he's mad that I almost broke his arm in front of a lot of people and made him famous by that and him crying over the camera. Maybe he's mad, took it personal. He was trying to act nice in the beginning of the match too. It, it didn't make sense to me. All of a sudden he switched it up on me comes backstage and he pops me in the chest. He tries to call me a bitch. So I tell him, let's fight right now, that motherfucker. But everyone, you know, breaks us up, unfortunately. Uh, I think my only mistake with Daniel was not uh, smacking him in the mouth as soon as he pushed me. Now I can't really do anything because it would look, I'd probably get kicked out. And personally, I don't really like him too much. I feel like that's just, we don't really like each other. 
and that's it. You gotta accept that. Representing Black Rifle Coffee, Mike John, and his opponent representing First Form, Hanato Canudo. Here we go. We are underway. Oh, Canudo Canudo going after right after early. So Mike John in the green and black. Oh. Oh. Gets the break and the extra point for it being inside a minute. Woo! And your winner representing first form with a break, Hanato Canudo! What a maneuver there. Hanato Canuto goes airborne, grabs a hold of that arm. I'm here with Hanato Canuto after probably the coolest submission of the series so far. How are you feeling after that? I feel freaking amazing right now. <laughs> Feels really good to finish one submission, man. You know, you saw me walking out there, you probably caught a video. I'm just like, come on, man, you gotta want just one. Come on, let's get it. Let's go, baby. You can expect me turning things around 100%. I'm going even tougher, guys, now the next few days, but hey. I'm gonna bring to these guys before they can even think about bringing to me and hit more subs, get to the playoffs, take the whole stack of money. We still can turn this thing around. We're only on day two, and I know we can turn the whole thing around, make 20, then make another 20, and that's that's where I'm in, dude. Representing Black Rifle Coffee, the Butter Panther, PJ Bart. PJ Bart. Representing First Form, Cam Hurd. Cam, very good wrestler. PJ, also a very, very good wrestler. We saw that in his last match with Andy Barella. Nothing but a <laughs> wrestling Look at that dunk under by Cam Hurd puts Barch on his back. Beautiful work. PJ can wrestle up. Nice takedown by Barch. Great wrestle up. Back to the center with a minute to go. See how aggressive. We get here, Heard with his back on the mat again. Inside now. the oh my God. And your winner with a break, representing Black Rifle Coffee, the Butter Panther, PJ Barch. First submission points for PJ Barch, getting a break over Cam Heard. First points on the board for you here at the end of day two, how are you feeling? It took a lot of time and a lot of energy to get those points. <laughs> Fucking, it's only three. I got some work to do. You got two more days left. How do you think you're gonna do? Oh, great, dude. I'm just, I'm just hitting my stride. All right, this is our last match of the evening. Coming out first, representing Black Rifle Coffee, Samson Fumabout, and his opponent, representing First Form, Jet Thompson. Well, it's important for them, but it's also important for their teams because if either one of these gentlemen can get a break, they will tie with X Marshall and both teams will get team points. Uh oh, mm -hmm. Samson finding himself in trouble as the kid starts to climb. In position for an arm triangle here, the not quite, grip's not but perfect. He does use it to go to the mountain. Now he can get himself into an arm triangle position. Looking for this Rotolo team. This oh, is bad wow. news for Samson. Let it go. Let it go, Jack. Thompson okay. trying to put the squeeze down. Now back in that mount position. Oh, he's good. Let it go, Jack. Come on. Let it go, bro. Trying to reach his hand through and cover the mouth of Fumabout. He just makes space. Now he just makes space there. It's not quite there. He, he could finish that. Now he could finish that. It's a lot of squeezing power right there. He got it. Wow. Another one for the kid, Jet Thompson. Putting on a show this week in Las Vegas. He finishes match day two with a kill. I'm feeling pretty good. This was my last match of the day. I was wanting to get the kill so I get more points for my team. Nice, man. Did you expect yourself to be this high up in the standings after day two? Uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I was. 
the kid just jumped into tied for second place. Whoa! Because, wow. because not only did he get the six for himself, he secured the team points for first form. So all of them jumped up. Wow. Wow, that's big. Tomorrow you're going to recollect with your team over at your gym at Hybrid Jiu-Jitsu. You guys are down 16 to X Marshall. So as a leader, I feel like people look at you as like a captain of the team. Yes. What is your message along with Hegan Machado? Well, Hegan said, we cannot lose to Jean-Jacques. You know, Jean-Jacques' team is ahead. So <laughs> I'm with him, dude. We can't, we can't let Jean-Jacques get any further. We find any X Marshall guy. That's it. Uh, we'll see. I'm seeing somebody in the morning tomorrow, so I get a better idea what uh, he thinks is going on with me. So ho hopefully, I am coming back tomorrow. I'd love to take on the Jabroni. Yeah, yeah. Daniel isn't going to do a fucking damn thing. Oh, boy. I guarantee it. He okay. isn't going to do a damn thing, so I'm not even worried about it. But... All right. You know. I truly am not. He's not. He's, he's a fucking. You see this one? Yes, people know what that is. Thank you. He was, thank he was saying, like, uh, during the match, like, oh, let's go, little bitch, fight, and all that. Didn't want to shake my hand at all after, you know, so, yeah, then I just went there and went to see if he could say the same thing uh, in front of my face, you know. And then I pushed him, he did nothing. And then when people come to, def to defend and separate, he started saying the same things that he was uh, saying before, acting super disrespectful. So he's a coward. That's what I want to say. This is the beginning of a whole new thing with jiu-jitsu, in my opinion. I think jiu-jitsu for a long time just didn't get going, you know, because just the events are kind of dull, you know. And this format, this is the future of jiu-jitsu. Sometimes you have your dream. Mm -hmm. And you tell people your dream, like, are you out of your mind? I said, no, because it's my dream, not yours. Because if I dream, it's for me, not for you. Mm -hmm. And you don't see what I see. You don't feel what I feel, and here we go. The money on the line here is crazy too, right? Most of these guys never seen this kind of money. And look at this. I'm sure this come up for an idea, dream, and, and Brandon now like, man, we're in Alabama, now we're in that guys, we're in UFC pass, and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not supposed to, I guess, if you don't believe it. But if you believe it, well, it has no limit. Well, pretty soon. Yeah. I enjoy so much being here. Oh, smokes. <laughs> Whoever comes out as a champion, for sure, will be remembered for many, many years to come. Oh, oh my God, he's got it. That's a wrap. Every single person in this is a killer. Like, I know how to do jujitsu. Like, I know it looks like I don't know how to do jujitsu. Like, I'm not some guy from the street that they just, like, pulled in here. Like, dude, all this shit is nuts. Like, everyone is so goddamn good in here.